and welcome to this Photoshop tutorial. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how to use image blend mode for creative effects. Now here we have an image of Sir Christopher Lee, the legend, and I have another image open which is quite simply a tree texture. So we're going to combine these images together and I'll initially show you how to use opacity just to blend the two together and then we'll move on to using blend mode. So I'm going to use the move tool here initially just to pull these apart and then to click on the tree texture drag it across and drop it onto the other image I'm going to tidy up a little bit pop that back up there back into this picture ok so now we can see that this image is on top uh, I would like to make this big enough to fit Christopher Lee's face now I could possibly rotate it round but I want to maintain those, those vertical strips there so what I'm going to do is uh, control minus on the keyboard is going to zoom us out. Control plus will zoom us back in. And um, I'm going to transform it. So I'm going to make it bigger. Best way to do that is edit, transform, and scale. There's a little shortcut you can use, which is control T. Once it's brought it up, you can click on the corner and resize it. Now you'll see it's not constrained with proportions. And that can be quite important. So if you hold shift on the keyboard, that will maintain those proportions. So I'm just going to line it up like so. It's a bit bigger. There we go. Double clicking to commit. Once that's done, uh, I'm going to zoom back in. So control plus on the keyboard, just so we can see the image a bit bigger on screen. So on the right hand side here, you'll see that we have the texture layer on top and Christopher Lee underneath. You can change the opacity of the top layer so you can see through it. So that's quite a nice effect. Uh, we can do better than that though. So we put it back up to 100. And this little window here, you can see it's on normal at the moment. If we click on it, you can see there's a whole lot of different things we can choose. So I would like you to you know, play around with this and try different blend modes. So let's try screen. Okay, it gives us one particular effect. Overlay, really nice. Now, what this is doing is it's mixing the two layers in different ways. So some will mix the highlights, some will mix the shadows, and it w there's just different approaches to, to image combination. So let's try a few more. We've got color burn, add multiply, which is quite nice. Um, once you've selected one you like, you can change the opacity again of the top layer just to kind of fade it out. If you want to be a little bit more subtle, you can do. You know, subtlety is the key really of Photoshop. We want to make sure that the things we do aren't blatantly obvious. They're, they're you know, subtly blended. So that's quite a nice effect, but our picture is quite dark. So one little tip here, just to end on, is if we go to brightness and contrast, add another layer on top, we can then just kind of lift both of those layers at the same time, so it's a bit stronger. There we go. Just to finish, I think I might tweak the opacity of that layer make it a bit more subtle. Okay, so have fun with it. That's blend modes. Play around and see you again. Bye bye.